Florida. It's a weird place. We all know that already. But I heard a very strange story, even by Florida standards, while visiting the Sunshine State last summer. Something that got me intrigued. This is my lawyer. I got in a fight one night, and I hit this dude with the cement block, and I f***ing... He died on his own, but my lawyer got me off the charge and I got off scot free, so. Best lawyer in Tampa. No, 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 not the murder confession. We'll get to that later on in the video. You got a lot of beads going on there. Yeah, I guess. Big beads means big tits. Big beads means big tits. Yeah, big beads means big tits. No, no, not the big beads. We'll get to those later, too. I'm talking about a story I heard while taking a boat tour of Tampa Bay about a Spanish pirate named Jose Gaspar who, legend has it, invaded the coast of Florida on this ship a few hundred years ago, taking over Tampa with his pirate pals and demanding the mayor hand over the key to the city. Is it true? No idea. But what I do know is that since 1904, the city has reenacted this event and celebrated the legend with an annual festival and parade where hundreds of thousands of people take to the streets to get plastered in the most Florida Man event ever. Join me, won't you? Welcome to Gasparilla. You got it, man. Did you know Florida has its own Mardi Gras? Well, it does, and it's right here in Tampa. Only this Mardi Gras has pirates. This is Rob, my sister's boyfriend, and this is my sister. They both live here in Tampa, and while I was around last summer, they told me about this whole Gasparilla thing, so I'm back to check it out. Welcome to sunny Tampa, a city that loves pirates so much, they named their football team after them. Maybe it's because pirates love warm weather. I know I do, that's pretty much why I'm here. It's 80 degrees, 83 degrees, something like that, in late January. Can't beat it. So what's going on here? What exactly is the legend of Gasparilla? Basically, the legendary Jose Gaspar landed. He stormed Tampa Bay and took over the uh, city. And uh, that's basically the lore of Gasparilla. We're up here at the convention center that we go every year for the invasion, where the uh, Gasparilla, Ho Jose Gaspar II, the boat, comes in, storms the beach, and all the pirates come out, pummeling out, and uh, takes over the city, and the mayor surrenders the key to the city. Now, even though Gasparilla is a huge deal and they have multiple events spanning the course of a month or so, it seems as though Jose Gaspar never existed and this is all pretty much made up. Even so, it's good fun and is the third largest parade in the USA. While walking around, waiting for the parade to start, we decided to go meet some real Florida people. Any more fucking, if another Democrat moves the fucking, I'm gonna off myself if another Democrat moves here. Right. But if Trump loses, bro, I'm, I, like, it's like there's an old saying, if you can't beat him, join him. I might become a fucking Democrat if fucking Trump doesn't win. No, no I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I know, I know. Decide, baby. Just giving you guys a little, uh, a little backstory on how we met. This is my lawyer, and uh, we met, he's, he was uh, a civil lawyer, like civil lawyer, but listen, I got this charge. Yeah, I got in a Listen. fight. I got in a fight one night, and I hit this dude with the cement block, and I fucking he died on his own. But my lawyer got me off the charge, and I got off scot free. So you know what I mean? That's how we met. But more of the story is, I didn't even kill him. He died on his own. So God bless it, dude. Bottom That's line. my lawyer, Dario Diaz, baby. Best lawyer in Tampa. Best lawyer in Tampa. And then hey, John F. Kennedy, dude. I'm John F. Kennedy Jr. We're bringing back. We're making JFK great again. Alex Jones. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that.
We nearly got trapped on the wrong side of the street, but Rob's a boss and got us through at the very last second, just as the parade was starting. His sister gets here super early every year to stake out a spot, which is essential if you want to be able to get close enough to actually see the parade. How many years you been at Gasparilla? This is my third year at Gasparilla. Third year, what do you think? I've gotten so lucky, motherfucker. I've gotten so lucky to me. <laughs> I've gotten so lucky as to me, the sidewalk pirates. The sidewalk pirates. I got lucky to me, the sidewalk pirates. I got lucky to be somewhat inaugurated in the group. You got a lot of beads going on there. Yeah, I got Big bees mean big tits. Big bees means big tits. Yeah, big bees mean big tits. I got or you. Or big bees mean big woman. Then what you Woo! Want, that's what you do. Sidewalk pirates, motherfucker. And I am unlucky. Like this lovely young Florida woman, I too feel very lucky to have stumbled upon ye loyal crew of Sidewalk Pirates, who were wonderful hosts, providing me with a variety of tasty beverages, great company, and a fantastic view of all the festivities. Booze was flowing, the beads were flying, and good times were had by all, especially these guys. <laughs> Let me just say that the floats at this thing were next level. I've been to quite a few parades all around the country, but these things were ridiculous. Rob, come on! Just as things were winding down, some children half our age decided they wanted to arm wrestle us. Rob went down first, then it was my turn. We are filming, gentlemen. Let's go. Go, Addison. Addison, shoulder in. Shoulder in. Shoulder in, Addison. Go, shoulder in. Shoulder in. Okay, I'm out of here. My arm hurt for like a week after that. But why contain all of this pirate-themed madness and debauchery to just one weekend? Two weeks after the daytime parade, there's a night parade every single year in nearby Ybor City that the locals claim is even crazier, and it is. Two weeks later. Let's go. Once again, the sidewalk pirates have a spot on the parade route all staked out, so that's where we're headed. Welcome to Ybor City, a fun little area with lots of bars and restaurants not far from downtown. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm excited to finally check it out. Yeah, that's right. I'm the news today, news lady. Get lost. My turn. Like I said, Gasparilla is made up of several different events and the Santiago Night Parade is one that the locals told me I simply couldn't miss, so here I am. Even the legendary Ric Flair made an appearance and it's clear he's done this before. Just like the last parade, this spot could not be better. I love being this close to all the action, so let's meet the folks who made it all possible. Ye Sidewalk Pirates. Hi, so we are the Ye Loyal Crew of Sidewalk Pirates. Let's go. We've been coming here, I've been coming here over 25 years. God, how I met is him promise? down here. Made him start coming. 15 years ago? And yeah. 15, yeah. And we get here super early and we hang out all day and. We tailgate and we gossip and we watch the people. Lots of people watch him. And we have a lot of fun. Yes, a lot of fun. Now our kids are coming. Yes. On their own. Grandkids. Better than the Gasparilla Parade, in my opinion. Yes. This is the this Knights is, of St. Yeah. Yeah. This is adult yeah. orientated. Yeah. 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 A lot more action, I guess. Yeah, action. Yeah, yeah. 
Lots of boobs and butts. Well, thank you so much for inviting me out to this GR1 6 days spot. Anytime. Anytime. You are now a member of our crew. Oh, I am. You are. Whether it's ye loyal crew of Sidewalk Pirates or ye mystic crew of Gasparilla, you know, those pirates who jump off the boat and steal the key to the city, these Tampa folks love their crews. Not exactly sure what that's all about, but I'm honored to officially be part of one. The floats at the day parade were sick, but these were just amazing. And this time, I didn't even have to catch the beads. They delivered them right to me. See, here's another crew. They're all over the place. And these are the Rough Riders. They're a big deal down here in Florida. Something to do with Theodore Roosevelt and his infamous unit of fighting people in Cuba. Something like that. I don't know the whole history, but Google it. It's a big deal. I want to thank my sister for coming out to this. I want to thank my sister's boyfriend, Rob, for coming out and inviting me. His sister, who started the uh, Sidewalk Pirates, as far as I know. And everybody else I met. It was a great time. Loved it, but... All good times must come to an end, so this is the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so, so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.